Okay, so I'm having I'm seeing a dramatic difference in behavior in trace flag 834, which is uh, large pages between SQL Server 2017 and 2019. Here's what's going on. So I got SQL Server 2017 here. I'm on a pretty recent cumulative update. I'm using about 10 gigs worth of RAM. If I go in and look at my SQL Server settings, let's go into properties. Max memory is set to 10 gigs. And then also if I look at SQL Server's startup parameters, I have trace flag 834 turned on here. So between those two, oh, and I also have um, uh, lock pages and memory turned on. So if I go to Windows settings, uh, security, local user rights assignment, and then lock pages and memory, uh, my SQL Server services inside there. So the combination of those, if I close out of a bunch of stuff here and shut down the SQL Server, the combination of those means that when SQL Server starts up, it's going to use max memory uh, and it's going to have all large pages for that. So it's going to grab all 10 gigs worth of RAM, lock them down just for SQL Server. Um, so notice that right now I've got only 1.2 gigs of memory in use at the OS level. I'll go ahead and fire up SQL Server, start him up. And then within a matter of seconds, SQL Server allocates the 10 gigs and boom, that's done. So we got all 10 gigs available to us. Now notice that I had both lock pages and memory turned on and trace flag 834. But now let's see what happens when I try that same exact thing with SQL Server 2019. Just a sec. All right, so now we're over in SQL Server 2019, different VM. This is Windows Server 2019, which could also be a difference here too. Haven't narrowed down what the exact root cause of it is yet. If it's a SQL Server problem, if it's a Windows problem. Um, so I've got SQL Server has started up. It's using about 10 gigs of RAM. I have lock pages in memory configured, and I have max server memory set to 10 gigs. So it's 10 gigs there, but I do not have trace flag 834 turned on on this one yet. I'll go ahead and stop the SQL Server just so that you can see how the behavior works with only lock pages in memory of a, uh, turned on. So it's going to stop the SQL Server. Memory will plummet down to nothing. So there we go. And then now let's start it back up again. And you can see how much memory it uses. Start. Yep. Yep. So it fires up, uses about 10 gigs worth of RAM. Off we go. Now, let's go ahead and change the config manager. Let's go ahead and fire up the configuration manager and we'll grant it trace flag 834, which is large pages. So startup parameter minus T834, add and okay. Yep, I know it won't take effect until the reboot. That's fine, or until the service restart. So now let's stop the SQL Server again. Yep, I'm sure. Yep, I'm sure. Memory plummets down to nothing. And what you would expect to happen when I start it back up, what you would expect to happen is that I would use about 10 gigs worth of RAM, which is the behavior that we saw in SQL Server 2017. Let's go start her up and watch available memory, watch memory in use and available memory, boom, the box is gone, it's vaporized, it takes up every single byte of memory. So it's something to do specifically with trace flag 834 and draining the box dry of RAM. I don't know what uh, what's going on here yet, but just, and that's probably all the place that I'm gonna be able to get to troubleshooting at 7.30 a.m. on a Saturday, and I got real life to attend to, but something's going on with CTP, uh, SQL Server 2019, CTP3, and it could have been present in earlier CP or CTPs too. I just haven't been able to get to the root cause until now. I still can't get to the root cause, but at least now some of y'all can start poking around and take a look and see what's going on with trace flag 834.